everyone. First of all, I am at work right now, which is why I have my headset on. I threw on makeup quickly so that I could do this video. Um, calls are a little bit slow today, so I'm able to have a couple minutes between calls. So if I clip in and out, I've paused it or cut it so that I could take a call and then come back to the video. But um, Josh is out uh, getting some cat litter at the moment, and I really wanted to make this video while I was alone just because it's quite rambly and it's quite emotional and a little bit embarrassing. I know I'm embarrassed for my husband, not, but not for strangers to watch, right? But it is that way sometimes where you're more embarrassed for people you know to hear your innermost thoughts rather than people you don't know and you don't have to face. But um, I'm really, really upset here lately. Like I'm feeling, I, I'm feeling really down. I, I wouldn't want to say depressed, but it's kind of like that. I just feel really like I just want to give up on everything. Um, I had this all mapped out in my head and it was perfect, but knowing that I'm on the clock and I don't have a lot of time is making it a little bit harder to get my thoughts kind of in place for this. So um, I apologize ahead of time. All right. So what started all this? I mean, for one, there's a lot going on in my life that I, I cannot talk about. And um, those of you that follow me will know why, you know, I've got so much stuff that people just take and run with and they invade, invade my privacy. And so I've had to keep so much stuff to myself. But there's a lot going on that I cannot talk about. And that kind of sucks because I'm the kind of person that gets like, sorry, I'm gurgling, that gets kind of therapy from getting the stuff out, you know, talking about things. And I, I don't do very well when I have to hold everything in. I've got no outlet. I've got nothing and no one to bounce situations and ideas off of or to perhaps tell me if I'm overreacting or just, you know, just an ear. I've, I've got nothing, you know, and that really sucks. And it really does a number on my head. Aside from that, um, you know, I know I've been offline for a long time, um, and again, that was to protect my privacy and to protect my family, and, you know, I know I lied about some stuff and misled on other things because I was trying to, again, protect myself. You know, I've never just lied to people or just put false information out there unless it was to you know, misdirect the hate sites, you know, which have been like a bane on my existence since 2009, 2011-ish, and that's a really long time, and it starts to do your head in, it starts to change the way you think and feel and react, and it just changes you as a person, and it has changed me a lot over the years, and, you know, so I did some things I'm not proud of, um, with the ultimate goal of just protecting, you know, my life, my own life, and Josh's life, and, um, I was gone for about a year and then slowly I've started coming back and I've still got my subscribers, but my interaction is so far down. It's actually, it's, it's depressing is what it is. Um, I mean, I've never wanted to be a big YouTuber. Like I've said so many times, you know, I, I started making videos when it was just common to sit in your room and just talk and now it's all about your beautiful backgrounds and your editing and your cutscenes and your background music and just making your videos seem more professional and just, I don't know, scripted. I don't do scripting. I don't do professionalism. I just sit here and I talk to the camera. What you get is what you get. The only things I cut out is if I'm moving around, stuttering, I sometimes say the wrong word because I don't script them out. So sometimes I might misuse words or I think I'm saying it right. And then I look back later and I'm like, oh, that's not what I meant. Um, or I just feel like I look really fat and gross. So, you know, I don't want to put myself out there like that. So I might clip a couple of parts, but aside from that, what you see is what you get. This is how it is. And I mean, I did my giveaway and people commented, not as many people as I would have thought. Cause I mean, it's whether you like me or not free is free, right? All right. Sorry about that. I had a call. Um, but yeah, so I had this giveaway and I thought, you know, I don't have a lot of money. I, I mean, I don't have a lot of anything and I know it's not huge, but I thought, you know, I've said this so many times already. I'm sorry, but I, you know, I, I just wanted to do something nice. So even though the company said that has to be in America, I thought, well, I want to help. I want to offer these to all of my subscribers and not just the ones in America. So if anybody lives outside of America, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll, you know, spend the money and I'll send it to them. 
and I thought everything was great. I was really excited. It was something fun to do. And then I listed the winners and only one person contacted me. It's like, I've, I'm so much of a nothing now that I can't even give stuff away. And do you know what that feels like? You know, I, I can't even give something away and I'm like, what is the point? You know, I post stuff on Facebook. I get hardly any interaction. Um, I post stuff on YouTube. I get hardly any interaction. My subscribers are going down and down and down. I think by now I've lost about 50 people in about a month's time, maybe because of my sex work video, but it's like now I'm not even allowed to post a real opinion without people completely unsubscribing instead of understanding people have got different opinions and values and accepting that not everybody is the same i'm not forcing my opinions on anybody but i made one video about it you don't like it don't watch it but you know you don't have to leave you know what i mean but they did and it's just it's just watching my views my interactions my subscribers all vanish my giveaway ended up being like a complete flop and it's like why do i even try like why why do i even try to be online period i can't even give out any information about myself i can't talk about what's going on in my life i can't vent i've got no you know in real life friends that i could go to and just go over and visit and cry on their shoulder you know what i mean um i've i've my son is far away. I mean, and, and it, that's a double edged sword because we're actually getting along really great right now. Like he and I are getting along probably the best we ever have in our entire relationship, you know, ever since he was born. And he's actually come to me a few times and like, you know, told me that he misses me and, and loves me and things. And those make me feel so happy because we're not a family that ever says stuff like that. My mom, she rarely ever told me she loved me. You know, we, we're just not a family that expresses that. And, you know, to have my son tell me he loves me is like, oh my God, you know, I never got that from him. And I can't even see him. And I don't know when I'm going to get to see him ever again. Um, I'm going to have to save up and go to New Zealand, but I don't know when that's going to be, especially with this COVID. Um, Josh has lost two jobs in four months. And so we're struggling, nonstop struggling and I mean, YouTube is not a source of income for me, but you know, I try to be honest and real and just the kind of person I've always been. But now it's like nobody likes you unless you're fake and you're overdone and you're set up with everything. And they consider that real instead of people that are really real. And I don't know how to be that way. And I will never be that way. It's, it's one, it's too much effort for me. I don't have enough time to do stuff like that. And two, it goes against my own principles. You know, if I'm going to talk to people, I'm going to talk to them as me and I'm not going to cut it or script it or edit it or anything like that. This is me. This is what you see is what you get. And I'm just realizing that a lot of people don't like that. They don't appreciate it. They don't like it. And I, it just kind of reconfirms to me that I'm basically a piece of shit and I'm worth nothing. And I've got nobody in my life except for Josh and... I mean, with my track record, that's probably not going to even last forever because I push people away. All right. I had a call. Gave me a chance to calm down. I'm sorry about that. This is, this is a whole video of feeling sorry for myself, I guess. Um, but anyway, I guess the point of this is just to say that I feel like I'm probably going to pull back from social media again. I don't really see the point in continuing to try to put myself out there and stay connected to the people that I've been connected to all this time if I get no interaction. And then I see people that are fake, that are liars, that follow every single bandwagon. They jump on every bandwagon that's out there just for clout. They're just... I've seen these people that are fake as hell. I've seen how they are online and how they fool a bunch of people and I've spoken to them you know, one-on-one -on -one, and I've seen how they really are, but everybody else is fooled by them and they've got thousands and thousands of subscribers. And it's like, if, if that's what it takes to be famous is to be a completely fake person that just hops on every, you know, every bandwagon joins every whatever, like they're activists for everything. You know, they, they, they hop on every trend that's out there to stay relevant. I don't want any part of that. I, I, it's not worth it to me 
if you want someone who is just down to earth and honest, then, you know, come talk to me. And if you don't, then don't talk to me. And it's blatantly obvious that I'm not the kind of person people like to hear or get to know or want to know. And I'm just really tired right now of fighting for something that doesn't exist. Um, trying to keep hold of the few people that you know, were there all this time and realizing that they are no longer there for whatever reason and just feeling like, I guess in general, a huge loser, you know, a, a huge nothing, a huge loser, completely, almost completely by myself. And, um, it's like, no matter how hard I try in any aspect of my life, I fail and it's just getting harder and harder just to hang in there and to even keep trying. I mean, I, I don't really see a reason to keep trying and every day is a struggle to find a new reason to want to struggle and to try and to fight. I mean, what am I even fighting for? You know, what what the hell am I fighting for? I won't be missed when I'm gone. I mean, not really. By hardly anybody. And I mean, it was it was the YouTube giveaway that really was the nail in the coffin for me, I guess. Um, the fact that I can't even give something away and have people care. I mean, who turns down free stuff? Obviously, with me, it's more worth it to turn down free stuff than to give a damn. And that's mortifying. That's embarrassing. It's shameful. And it's really depressing. And um, I'm just feeling really, 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 really low at the moment. Um, I just, I don't know what I could possibly do to be relevant to the people I was relevant to before anymore. And I mean, and again, it's not about having a big following or raising my YouTube channel. It's just, you know, I, I always had a handful of people that followed me through all my channels, all my profiles, you know, they were always there for me. And now even these people are gone and I just don't understand what makes what makes being fake so appealing to so many people that they prefer that I, I just don't get it and it just makes me feel like maybe I really just don't belong in this world like I just I don't agree with or understand how a lot of the world works nowadays and what people find appealing and I never will and that sets me apart from so many people and it makes me like an outcast and it's, it's, I'm an outcast in a way that I will never fit in. I have never fit in. I will never fit in. And it just makes me a target. As long as I try to be online and try to connect with anybody, I am going to be a target and I'm probably going to always be made to feel like absolute shit because I, I'm too different and I'm lonely and I'm pathetic and I should just really just quit trying altogether. Just quit trying because all my trying no matter what part of my life it is, whether it's rescuing animals and then I get screwed over because cats that were supposed to be spayed came here unspayed and then I ended up with litters that I can't rehome and just trying to help people, try to be a friend to people, try, just whatever I try to do, it doesn't matter. I, I fail at it or I'm taken advantage of or it's just not good enough and I'm just right at this moment right now, I am so tired of trying. I'm tired of trying, period. Even in my job. I love my job so much, but, you know, I try to interact with my teammates just like everybody else does, and I'm ignored so much that I've almost been brought to tears in chat trying to talk and interact with everybody else and just watching everybody else get likes and comments and replies, and I'm sitting here, like, completely ignored, like I didn't even write. And it's like, even in a work chat where they can't see my face, they don't know me, there's something about me that people just don't like and they won't even respond to me and it's work it's not play but you know what they're friends with each other in there and everybody's talking to everybody else and I'm sitting here and once again I'm the outcast once again I I can't have uh, friends or the same kind of relationship with people that other people do and there's just something there's like this I'm like pig pen where there's this cloud around me of whatever um, people repellent that keeps people away from me to where nobody wants anything to do with me. I have tried to write in there and help and it doesn't matter. Sorry, had another call. Um, 
But anyway, uh, this is by no means me saying anything wrong with my job. I mean, I this is the best job I've ever had. I would love to have this job for like ever. Um, and I've just learned just to pretty much stop interacting. I, I was trying to help people because I picked up the job really quickly. You know, I take notes. I've got, I've got it down pat. And whenever somebody, even people have been there longer, I've got questions. I was always trying to get in the chat first, um, offer them help, offer them my notes, everything. And it's still like I not even talking. So I just pulled back and I don't interact with them anymore. It's back to being all lonely by myself. And, um, I just do my job and that's it. You know, let everybody else have friends. I'll just stay by myself. And, um, I don't know. There's not really a point to this video. I just really needed to get some of this stuff out. Um, I've just been feeling really, really sad, um, about this whole thing. And when I did the giveaway and seeing that I wasn't getting many comments and all that stuff, I was kind of like, well, you know, the ones who are here that care, they're the ones that deserve to win. And so I was focusing on that. But then when I did the winners and I saw nobody really watching it, and then it's been like a week and the winners haven't even contacted me. And I'm just like, Oh my God, am I that, am I that much of a loser that I can't even give something away anymore? And that just, that was just the last straw and it just, it just drove everything home. And then just, I'm in this whole bubble of depression, self-hatred, self-pity at the moment. And I just really needed to get it out. Um, so if you've watched this, thank you, I guess my thanks don't really matter to anybody either. And if not, then, you know, obviously you won't know any of this. And I know certain people will have a field day with this, um, vulnerability and I'll be the laughing stock and, you know, everything, but I don't even care about that anymore. I mean, I feel bad enough just from living my normal life, you know, I mean, I, I just, I, I don't know, nothing I do matters. So I'm, I don't even know if I'm going to post this. I probably will, but I don't know. I don't expect any response or reaction, probably just a bunch of laughter. Um, it's about time I realized who I really am and that's nothing or something like that, but I'll go ahead and shut it off now before Josh gets back. And, um, I guess, thank you for watching if you watch it and, um, nobody in particular take any of this personally. This is just me having a event just because I really need to. What I need to do is just, um, go to the bathroom and have a good, good long cry. But, um, I just don't really want to give into that yet at this moment. So I've been holding back from just letting everything out. Um, so this is the only thing I'm allowing myself to have any kind of mental relief. So there you have it.